Hello YouTube, it's been a little while since I made a video, so I thought I'd make a video to show you guys what I'm working on. Uh, this is going to be an aluminum foundry for melting aluminum so I can cast anything I want out of aluminum. It all started with a uh, cast anthill. I seen that and I wanted to do it, so I figured I might as well make a furnace big enough, useful enough to use. So this is my furnace. I made this crucible here out of quarter inch, it's like schedule 40 pipes, quarter inch plate welded to the bottom, a couple of hooks on it. I had to make up this tool, which is a couple of hooks, hooks onto a couple of pins there and I can lift the crucible out of the furnace. There's also a threaded rod runs down the middle there, so I loosen that rod off and it'll slip by, I tighten the rod up and it holds the crucible so that I can pour what I'm wanting whatever I'm melting so that's that but <clears throat> over the last few days I've been working on burners I've been making my own burners at a gas pipe uh, this is uh, a little guy here well it's not really little it's probably pushing out about 350,000 BTUs it's, uh, it's a pretty big burner this one though is a whole hell of a lot bigger I got an air vent here you can see the orifice in there. I made the orifice out of a piece of solid brass pipe, threaded one end, drilled a hole through the end of it. Uh, ran some piping, basically made it all adjustable to start with, and played around until I got some nice flames coming out the end. And then I made this also, this little tiny guy. Uh, it's made out of a half inch gas pipe, three quarter half inch reducer, some fittings, a piece of copper runs through, Drill the hole in the end of it, which you probably can't see, but propane comes through there, blows the flame out again. This one's probably alone, I'd have to say 50,000 BTUs. <coughs> this one here is probably 500,000 BTUs, and this one's probably, like I said, 250 to 300,000 BTUs. So I'm hoping to melt down a nice amount of aluminum in a, a short amount of time. They all run on propane. I'm using a, uh, this is actually an acetylene regulator with a 510 threads on it, so I can actually use it on propane. I have it set to about 7 psi on the outlet pressure, and then I have this needle valve here. This so needle valve is just so I can adjust the uh, flow of propane. <coughs> so, I'm going to fire this thing up. Hold on a second. Turn the propane on. quite a bit of heat. It's really hot even standing next to it. Um, it's going to be insulated so there's going to be a barrel around the outside. It's going to be filled with either ceramic insulation, uh, maybe fiberglass insulation. Um, either that or you're going to make a, uh, a refractory cement out of plaster of Paris and around the edge and that'll keep everything hot on the inside I'm also going to be making a lid to sit on top which will have a, about a three inch hole in the middle of it so I can drop aluminum into the crucible and so that I can see what's going on um, this crucible is a little bit big I actually designed this crucible to work with this big ass burner and it was going to be a lot bigger furnace than this but I figured I'm going to make a medium sized one because I started screwing around with other burners and decided 
I'm going to use this old propane tank as my furnace, my first one. If it works out, I'm going to go big. With a full, it'll be a full 55 gallon with a 30 gallon wine barrel inside as the actual furnace. And then this crucible, which is, it's a big crucible. I think it's six inches across. But anyway, thought you guys might like to see what I've been working on. If you guys show any interest in it, I can go into more detail on how I built the burners themselves and expect to see some videos of this thing running in the near future. And this summer, I expect to see some videos of me casting some aluminum anthills. Anyway, if you like this video, click thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.